guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. We are Tuesday morning. We are Tuesday morning. We're not Tuesday morning. It is Tuesday morning. We are at the hospital with Isabel because fingers crossed today she is getting her cast off. Um, not quite sure. I'm assuming that we're going to go for an x-ray and um, and then see the consultant. I'm not entirely sure, but um, yeah, fingers crossed she's going to get a cast off today. So um, we're here nice and early. Lots of spaces in the car park and it's very cold. One minute it's sunny, next minute it's snowing. Don't really know what's going on with the weather. It's really random, um, but it's sunny at the moment, although it's freezing. But Isabel's got shorts on. Haven't you, Isabel? Yeah. And no coat because apparently she's not cold but whatever. Anyway, so we are gonna go and find out what's gonna happen. God, can you see the snow outside? Oh my God! It's crazy. <laughs> so Isabel's gone to the hospital with Zoe. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that cast is coming off, which would be lovely for her, because it'd be so nice to get her involved in doing stuff again and uh, out in the garden and walking around with her boot on. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? I bet it's a hot, better legs horrible and manky mind because I, I wore a boot for quite some time when I had my foot operation. And when you, uh, but when, uh, my cast, sorry. And when you have a cast taken off, it's a bit manky. So um, we're going to find out later how she's getting on. But for now, while mummy's at, at the hospital with Isabel, what are we playing? Play we're playing a little bit of Play Doh on this snowy day. What is going on with that? It's crazy, isn't it? Daddy! What? Well, I know. I've just looked out the window and it was really, really snowy. Yeah. And now it looks like it's really, really sunny. Hang on. Whoa! It's like someone's controlling the weather or something. Now it's sunny and no snow. Does anybody know what's going on? No. It's turning snowy. Does anybody know what's going on with the weather? No. It's turning snowy. Oh, my word. So uh, we're going to have a wee bit of fun uh, until... So he gets back with his van and we'll find out what's going on. I'm making jelly. She's making jelly. How are we all getting on with our Play-Doh then? Yes! Are we all having lots of fun? Yes! Do you know what I'm worrying about though? Yes! Mummy and Isabel are out, aren't they, at the hospital and look at that. I can't believe it. It's changed again. It's snowing. That's like 10 minutes. That's unreal. Yeah, you can see the wind legit on the floor. Mummy's going to have to drive back in that in a minute. Well, not in a minute. It's almost, it's almost like... Um, it's almost like winter's come back, isn't it? Yeah! It's like Game of Thrones. Winter's coming. I don't know Game of Thrones, but I do like know Harry Potter. What are you making? Daddy! 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 Can you get a different colour? Daddy. Yeah, um, you'll have to swap the colours over then. Yeah. Because it'll drive people's OCD mental if you mix them up. Daddy, okay. show them the trampoline cover. It's, What's on, it's on the ground. Is this the back garden? Yeah, it's on the ground. Trampoline Whoa. Zoom in over there. Oh yeah, okay. no, you can see it. Our trampoline cover's come oh, off, is not it? All the way on the ground. That's crazy. Let me see. Daddy, 
Daddy, if you ask me anything about Game of Thrones, I won't know anything. But if you ask me about Harry Potter, I'll know. I know you don't love Harry Potter, do you? I love Harry Potter as well. I love Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter more. Well, I love Harry Potter more because I've got glasses on, so I look like Harry Potter. <laughs> hey, guys, I look more like Barry hey, Smarter. My favourite character is Fun George. Is it? <laughs> my my favourite character is Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw? Yeah. I don't even think you've seen Harry Potter, have you? No, no she has. No, she has. Yeah. Well, well, let's hope Mummy gets back safe and sound then, eh? Don't we? Let's just take one more look then. Imagine you just like back, it's snowing, and then you just like this way, and then you like that way again, and then it's just sunny. Yeah, I know. Are we going for a walk this afternoon? No. Uh, not unless I call Mountain Rescue out. Seen it. So in the um, in the time we've been in the hospital, it's uh, snowed. So it's sunny when we got here, and now it's um. I show you my windscreen. Snowing. Although the sun's come out again now, so it's just totally bizarre. But it is freezing. Anyway, so Isabel has had her cast off. She's had an x-ray and she's seen the consultant who is happy with the progress so far. Um, so she's been given uh, a boot to wear for, he said, about 15 days. She's got to um, basically try and walk on it, but like with 50% of her weight. So um, and not not, you know, not go off gallivanting here there and everywhere but just try and get used to to walking on it using her crutches and using like half her weight because obviously she's not been able to use her leg at all she's been non-weight bearing totally for the last four well, over four weeks so she's got to try and start walking on it just to get it's actually that leg's lost quite a lot of muscle um so it's she's got like one little skinny leg now because it's lost quite it's amazing how much muscle it's lost in just a short space of time but you know she's young so she should uh it should should build back up again but she's basically she's still got to be really cautious what she does um i asked about the obviously the dislocation of her knee which she had which kind of started the whole thing um and he said you know there's not much you can do about it um but unfortunately the younger that you are that you have your first dislocation the more likely it is to happen again which is a bit of a i don't know it's a bit of a pain but i guess you just um have to be extra careful but you know it's it's he it's healed okay it doesn't it doesn't hurt her now it was a bit sore for a while but obviously she is now going to be prone to that knee possibly dislocating again so again that's something i just have to be careful for with for with um so she has another appointment in a month um online so just to see how her progress is going and then she'll have another appointment in four months at the hospital for another x-ray because he needs to see because of where the break was Obviously, the screw goes through right underneath the growth plate. Um, so he needs to be able to see that it's the ankle is still developing okay and that she's still, you know, it's still growing. Um, so he's going to have to keep an eye on that. So, I mean, so so far, it's as good as can be expected. It's healed um, as it should have done. Um, it's now kind of just the road to... That it's just the road to recovery really now that she's um 
it's just a wait and see sort of thing really i guess so we'll just have to try and get her up and mobile and you know get that leg working again and uh being very careful in the meantime which is difficult when you're 13 um so yeah all in all it was you know it's pretty good and we'll just have to wait and see and hope for the best really so we're off home now um well, it stops snowing and the sun's come out again, we're going to go home. Okay, that's uh, Zoe and Isabel back from Dr. Grace Hospital. And it's nice to see Isabel without a cast on. Uh, excuse me, we're talking on the video. Yeah? Can you stop <laughs> squeaking the door? Honestly, you just think, I'll just grab five minutes quiet, look. Five minutes quiet. <laughs> There we go. Are you going to get him a dummy? Have any of them, I think there's a dummy. Hang on. There's one here, look. There's one here. He doesn't like that. Sorry. Them. Sorry. 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 So sorry. So sorry. We're being disturbed. We're not disturbed. It's just our life. There you go. Has he got one now? There goes the squeaky gate. Shut the squeaky gate. See you later. So, as I was saying, it's so nice to see... Um, Isabel without a cast on and it's kind of like after what Zoe said before uh, about it she's, she's told me obviously what the doctors and the um, consultant, the consultant, the consultant have said yeah it's kind of where I expected we were to be honest so she's got a cast off now it's uh, let's just sit and wait and try and put some so weight on her things so she's got to do he said about five times a day she's got to do like some exercises up and down with her foot and Right, so some side, movement exercises just to get that feeling back in her ankle um she says it's not hurting but you know what it's like she doesn't she doesn't speak it's anyway. like a machine um she doesn't, she doesn't seem to feel much pain she just doesn't she she only ever complains if she's in like a lot of pain um so or she's really really upset about something that's when you know that she's really upset about something because then she shows emotion um yeah. so yeah so she's got to do that about five times a day take it out the boot and move it about and i think probably in the evenings when she's sitting down she could just you know so she, i think it's it's getting used to just using half your weight it's quite difficult it's easier when you're an adult because you're not i mean some adults are oh, as active maybe i mean as you know when i don't really know what i mean but what i mean is when you're 13 you want to be able to go and run about and especially our kids you know especially like Isabel is always outside playing with the little one she's always you know they're dancing they're doing this that and the other they're really yeah our, our kids are really really active kids aren't they yeah. they're really active so not being able to do anything has been quite difficult for her and I think I think what you're trying to say is that adults are more cautious I, yeah I, but I had to as a parent especially you have to kind of put that caution in place for them don't you so yep. that's what I was trying to say to the consultant was you know what do I have to limit her doing because they don't want to limit themselves and no. although some things she might find difficult she's not the type of child that will moan about things so she will try and push through and do it anyway but obviously as a parent I have to kind of because I don't want this to be if it's kind of if you mess it up now you're going to be left with that for the rest of your yep. life so we need to take it slowly and do it right do it right so that she doesn't get affected by this because yeah. the the screw in it is about this far away from the growth plate at the bottom of her bone which is what their concern is with the growth of the ankle he's put it in underneath the growth plate if you like um the bone bit i'm not i'm not a doctor so i don't really understand all of it but what i know is that he needs to keep an eye on that ankle to check that it develops and grows properly um Otherwise, you could end up with one leg shorter than the other. But I, I mean, I say that it's not funny, but you know, it's yeah, just I know, kind I know of what like, you mean. it's so difficult know. to know. We're not medical professionals. We don't. You try and understand as much as you can from what they're from what they're kind of saying. But um, all that we can kind of go on is that he's happy with her progress at the moment, and she's young. She should make absolutely. It's, it should make perfect. It, it sounds to me like it's all going in the right direction. Yeah, and I mean, as far as things like I asked, how far, how long until she can dance again? And um, you keep cutting me out. Oh, sorry. Video. Sorry, my, I haven't got my <laughs> selfie. <laughs> my head's slowly going. <laughs> I haven't got my <laughs> selfie sticks and my arms slowly, starting to. Slowly, I thought, slowly, I thought, slowly, slowly, slowly. I thought we could, we'd wrap the video up quite quickly so I didn't get my You're selfie stick and, my and my arm off. is just, it's just burnt. I'm now holding my, my elbow. Um, so, yeah, I said, you know, how long before she can go back to dance? But he said, you know, we've got to take it slow. So he said, you're looking at at least a month before she can start 
dance again. Um, but at least that gives us something to work towards, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, of course you it know. does. Um, and at the moment, they're not, it's online stuff anyway, so it could be that she might be ready for dance when they go back to dance properly. So it's just kind of wait and see. We knew that it was going to be like that anyway, didn't we, really? Because it was, you know, she's, it's different breaking an arm than a leg because you use your legs to, to walk with, don't you? Yep. So it's, it's kind of always going to be, it supports your whole body weight. So it's just going to be a, a, a recovery, really. So what we're planning to do is to update you as and when we've got more to update you with, to be honest. But for now, it's uh, a watch and see, isn't it? It's just a watch and wait, see how she gets on, see how the recovery is. It's sunny now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, snow in a minute. Go yeah. sunny now. Yeah, so so we've had the, just the weirdest weather all day. Now it's like all the I snows melted. Can you see that? All the snows melted, uh, gone away again. So hopefully we're going to go out for a walk this afternoon. But um, now that's our update for the day. So um, I hope you're enjoying our series of videos we've been making this week. Uh, we're just going to make as many as we can from now on. Um, Why do I look so small? So we really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Please drop us a like and a comment because we, like I say, in every video, we really, really appreciate the support. And I don't know if you realise, but there's been a hoover going on right the way through this. And that's Olivia, bless her, cleaning up the Play-Doh from earlier. She's still in there. She's been hoovering for about 20 minutes now, bless her. But, um, it's like the worst nightmare thing, Play-Doh. I know. I did it, though. I did it. So, um, look, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye!